Hi guys, my name is Tanya and I came back to this channel wanting to post one video a week but this week I want to do a thing so you're getting two. As you may have guessed or deduced from my lack of videos, lack of content and generally lack of bookish nonsense going on around here, I have been in a bit of a reading slump. I'm pretty sure the whole booktube community has been in a bit of a reading slump, some people aside, and I've only just been getting back into it over the last couple of months. I didn't take part in the booktube a because I didn't want to make myself worse by pushing myself to read seven books and then failing drastically feeling even worse about myself and just stopping reading all over again. However, starting on Monday is the Bout of Books number 17. This is a week-long readathon running from the 22nd to the 28th of August. This is a reading challenge which describes itself as a low-pressure readathon, so I figured I would take part and use it as a big stick to poke my reading slump with. I have made myself a little TBR of just free books, but at the rate I've been going, which is about a book a month, I would be very very happy to finish one book in the week. But yeah, on to my TBR. So so I have a lot of books in my room at the minute that I've actually borrowed off of other people and just kept and not given back. And I've not kept them because I'm an evil person who reads your books, really likes them and then never gives them back to you. I've kept them because I haven't read them yet. So I've picked a couple of those books for this TBR so I can start giving back my friends books and maybe earn back their trust. So first up we have 13 Little Blue Envelopes by Maureen Johnson. This was lent to me by Beth after I read Let It Snow, the compilation of free Christmas stories by Maureen Johnson, Lauren Miracle and John Green. And Maureen Johnson's was my favourite story out of the free in that book. So Beth lent me a few of her books to try and help me get into her more and I just never read them. So from what I have gathered this is about a girl whose aunt disappears and leaves her a trail of 13 blue envelopes in various places and kind of leads her on, for want of better words, a quest through different places and activities in order to achieve some end. But I did read the first couple of chapters before we moved to see if I did definitely want to read it and it seems like it's going to be quite a fast fun read so I thought that would be quite good for a readathon. My next book was only lent to me a couple of days ago but I'm trying to be better at being on top of the books that I've been lent and getting them back to people faster and also I'm kind of intrigued by it. And it is Sappho's Fables Volume 1, Free Lesbian Fairy Tale Novellas by Elora Bishop and Jennifer Damer. My friend's current favourite game is throwing lesbian stories at me for me to read, which I'm really enjoying. As the title suggests, this contains three lesbian interpretations of different fairy tales, those being Snow White, Rapunzel and Hansel and Gretel. The writing in here is quite dense, but it's also not a very big book, and as it's three short stories I thought I would get through it quite quickly, and I'm intrigued to see the twists that they come up with to work these the way that they want. The final book is another collection of short stories, and it is Summer Days and Summer Nights, 12 Summer Romances, edited and compiled by Stephanie Perkins. I really enjoyed the Christmas version of this, My True Love Gave to Me, which I've already mentioned in this video. I bought it very close to when it came out, which was only a couple of months ago now, and I still haven't gotten around to reading it, but it has another story by Stephanie Perkins in it, and it also has stories by Cassandra Clare and Veronica Ruff, which I'm kind of intrigued to see. And as with My True Love Gave to Me, I enjoyed reading different stories by different authors that I hadn't read before, and it informed me about some things that I might like to read outside of the authors in the book that I knew. So I am very excited for this. Once again, the logic is it's short stories. I get through them quite quickly. I'm pretty sure I read My True Love Gave to Me as part of a readathon as well. Let's keep up that tradition. So yeah, that was my TBR for the 17th Bout of Books readathon. I would love to know down below if you are taking part and if so, what are you reading? Have you done a TBR for it? Because I'd like to see that too. I do enjoy TBRs even though I am awful at them. If you hadn't decided to, if you wanted to and would like to take part, I have put all the details down below in the box for the Bout of Books website so that you can go and check it out. And I hope that you are all having a lovely day. I will see you very soon. Goodbye! I threw my cup of squash on the floor every time I put a drink on the floor and I'm like, I won't kick that over. I lie.